Welcome to your gold market update for today, the 10th of June 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst for Gold Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw a broad-based sell-off, especially in the last couple of hours of the session in the US, prior to this evening's US inflation numbers. And also that oil price being of concern, which is paused at three-month highs, and jobs data that was slightly shy of expectations. Technically, we saw key levels tested and a move out of a short-term range to the downside. A US futures are mildly lower in Asian trading and Asian indices are following that Wall Street lead. Looking very shaky across the board, ASX is down around 0.9%, but that is slightly off the lows of the session so far. European futures are pointing lower also and the US dollar index has broken to the upside and out of the short-term range. We've seen a little bounce of the JPY after being battered over the last few weeks against non-USD currencies. We're going to check out a chart in a moment for you. It's one of our charts of interest today. Gold remains mid-range around about 18.50 and all is trading around about 23. And the VIX is rising again slowly as market uncertainty creeps back in and it's currently sitting over the 200 EMA at around about 26. Bitcoin is choppy and trading near the lower end of the range. Looks as though it might test a support level that's just below 30,000. And of course, we've got big data out today, as we've already referenced. We've already had Chinese inflation and PPI numbers out this morning. These both were roundabout expectations. But of course, US inflation numbers are the key data, not only of today, but for the week. We've also got some US consumer sentiment also due, but it's that inflation number which the whole planet, it seems, could potentially have their eyes on. Let's look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. Start with the ASX and we're looking at Domino's Pizza. I'll put it on a weekly chart so you can see long-term context. This has obviously been battered from the highs that we saw in August last year and is down in excess of 60%. And obviously this is on the back of increasing commodity prices. The stuff they put on their pizzas is costing more and that's squeezing profit margin significantly. And they haven't as yet put a significant amount on the consumer. But this is undoubtedly a serious test of this level we hit in Feb 2020 and August 2018. So a move below 62.50 will be significant technically and possibly even take us down around this $50 mark. We can't see this improving at all. If we look at the daily chart and just bring it in a little bit, you can see how this level has been tested already yesterday and is tested again today in trading, although we are holding on at this stage. On the currency front, we're looking at the Aussie yen. Of course, this has been in a steady upcline really for the last three weeks. Uh, tested a resistance last hit in April at 95 cents. We tested it during trading last night and are testing it again today. If we just put it on a shorter term chart, you can see there's the test rejection through that, another rejection. But if we do get any further selling in this, then we could see this sell off significantly in light of how far it's risen. And so we could see it drop in 50 pips in the first instance. And we'd suggest that commodity based currencies, which are already under pressure today, may be under even more pressure if that US inflation number comes in hot. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.